Hello Cancer, this is Renee and welcome back. Cancer, this is going to be your next 48 hours. What is going on for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The next 48 hours. Let's get a message please. Okay, Cancer, let's get down to it. Okay, we have Earth and Ground. We have cut the cords. Wow. Okay. Let's get some more energy for cancer. What does cancer need to know next 48 hours? The energy is gaining momentum. Okay. At the bottom we have communication is key. Gemini energy. Okay, so you may be dealing with a Gemini. Or there may be a Gemini that's close to you. Let's see. What do we have for Cancer? Sun, Moon, and Rising. The next 48 hours. Well, Cancer, you know, to, to begin with, I'm getting the feeling that you're trying to find some sort of balance after some sort of ending and I feel like it's kind of your emotions may be high at the moment you may be dealing with a lot of emotion but I really feel like you're looking for stability you're looking to be stable be grounded you're working on your pinnacles. You're, you know, putting yourself into work. Into something that makes more sense to you. I feel like there's something that you're working on that's very important. You may be working on issues that are going to increase your abundance. Increase your stability. Is what I'm getting. The star. Yeah, there's that healing energy. You know, the need to find balance, to find healing. We also have the Seven of Wands. So I definitely feel like there's something that you're defending. There's something that you are trying to protect. Uh, cancer, I feel like there's something that you may be keeping secret. You may be holding close to yourself. You may not be telling everyone your intentions you know I feel like I feel like you're you're kind of working on this in secret interesting we have the nine of swords and we have the page of pentacles and the Hermit card. Hmm. Right underneath that we have the Magician. Maybe it's something that you're creating. It's something that you're not quite sure it's going to work. But you have a lot of faith. A lot of... A lot of... Um, confidence. That whatever you're working on is going to bring you a lot of success. It's going to bring something into your reality. You're bringing something into your reality. And I feel like whatever this is, you may be changing your perspective about a situation. You may be working on your beliefs. But <clears throat> the hermit is being led on his path by the star. Look at this. We have the star right here. Right above it. So I feel like whatever this wisdom that you're gaining, you're gaining it from past experiences, from maybe past failures. And you're walking this destined path with those past failures. You're healing, lighting the way. So I feel like, you know, this is you 
gaining whatever wisdom you needed to gain in order to bring you into creating this beautiful new beginning. Whatever this is that you're trying to bring to life, I feel like it's wisdom that you've learned along your journey. You know, I hope that makes sense. But, hmm, let's get more messages for Cancer. The Nine of Cups. Wow. We ha we're going from the Nine of Swords to the Nine of Cups. So, very interesting. We also have the Justice card and the High Priestess. Definitely beautiful energy. So, Cancer. I feel like whatever this is, this could be love, this could be career, this is general, um, 48 hours. So, I feel like a lot is going to happen within this 48 hour period. A lot is going to happen. You are getting some kind of wish fulfillment, some kind of happiness is flowing in. You also have the justice card. So some kind of work that you've done in the past is moving you towards the future in a really strong position because we have the high priestess as well. So um, I feel like you're being led on this journey. I feel like spirit is pointing you in the right direction. You're trusting yourself on this journey. And you're trusting that you're going to be fully rewarded for your efforts of the past. This is karma. This is balance. This is also Libra energy. So there may be a Libra that's close by you that could be helpful. And we also have Pisces. So, you know, we have basically everything here already. But we do have Pisces twice. So, a Pisces may be very significant. Um, but I feel like this is happiness. This is wish contentment. This is something that you worked very hard for. And you're looking to get the results. You've been waiting for the results to come through. You've been kind of fearful that the results were not going to come. But look at this. The Ten of Pentacles. That's in the next 48 hours. Something is coming, Cancer, that's going to bring you a lot of abundance, a lot of satisfaction. Something is coming into fruition. Something is going to bring you stability. Exactly what you've been wanting with this King of Pentacles. You know, you've been in search for stability, for long term success. For something to be long lasting, you know, whatever this is for you, however it resonates in your life, this is something that's going to bring you a lot of abundance. Uh, maybe in the form of money, good health, or happy family. But abundance, nonetheless. Okay, let's get some more clarification. Spirit, give me some more messages for cancer. What is this Knight of Pentacles, Star, Seven of Wands energy? Tell me more about this. Okay, we have the Two of Swords. Yeah, you were once at a crossroads. Two of Cups, two twos, that's union, that's two people coming together. Wow, okay. And the Strength card. <laughs> I was getting ready to say, you know, two people coming together, that's strong. Interesting. There was some kind of choice that you need to make. I feel like you were kind of at a stalemate. You were kind of at a standstill. Uh, with the Two of Cups right next to it, I feel like this may be a relationship that you're in that you felt like was at a standstill. It may have been at a crossroads in some way. 
but I feel like this union is now gaining strength. It may be because you were both at a distance, either physically or mentally. You were at a distance. Maybe you weren't seeing an eye to eye, but I feel that you're moving past this energy. You're gaining strength in this situation. It may be that you're finding more confidence within yourself. You may be focused on what makes you happy at the moment. What brings you drive? Leo is all about fire. Being assertive. Taking initiative. Making the first move. You know? And the strength card is all about having the courage. Being fearless in your moments. And also being confident. You know? Showing yourself that unconditional love or showing someone else that unconditional love very interesting tell me more spirit what is this nine of swords page of pentacles and hermit give me a message please next 48 hours okay we have the queen of cups the Empress, wow, and the Four of Wands. Beautiful energy. Oh my goodness. I feel like if this is a love situation, I feel like love, there's a reason to celebrate. With the Queen of Cups, she's very supportive. She's very nurturing. She's very caring and giving. She really... knows how to show her feelings in a way that is so supportive, like a mothering energy. Now, the Empress is also a mothering energy. She's also very fertile, very nurturing, and very fruitful for manifestation the empress can manifest whatever it is she wants because she has the ability to believe totally in trusting the universe she's a mother in energy she may be a good mother she is also very fertile so with this queen of cups empress energy now, this ain't going to resonate for everyone, but someone may be giving birth soon. Someone may be um, carrying child. Or this could be the birth of new ideas, the birth of new love. Um, but it's very fertile energy. And the Four of Wands is marriage, celebration, you know, coming together reunions so this is beautiful as well because i feel like there's a reason for celebration it may be because someone around you maybe you or someone around you is pregnant and you're going to have you know this celebration of this birth so it's, it's it's really beautiful energy more messages please tell me more about this nine of cups Justice High Priestess for Cancer in the next 48 hours. <clears throat> the Eight of Wands, the King of Wands, and the Three of Wands. Wow. Fire, passion, excitement, taking initiative. Look at all those wands. This is passion. The Eight of Wands is communication. It's also taking action on something that is like building in momentum. Taking action on some kind of passion 
that has been ignited. The King of Wands, he's very passionate. He's very assertive. He's very bold and daring. Very courageous. You know? And I feel like maybe this King of Wands energy is going to send some kind of communication to you that you've been waiting on. This could be a Leo, Leo Aries Sagittarius. So maybe maybe you're dealing with it, Leo Aries or Sagittarius, and you're waiting on some kind of communication. Um, the Three of Wands, this is all about waiting for results, waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for some kind of progress to be made. So I feel like with this energy, you may be waiting for this communication that's going to come in from this Wands energy. This king of wands at the bottom we have the the ace of swords so i feel like something very unexpected is going to make a breakthrough some kind of clarity is coming forward for you and i feel like it's bringing excitement it's bringing initiative you know this is running with an idea running with some sort of knowledge that's going to bring success. Okay. Okay. Uh, cancer. Let's get some more clarity. What's going on with Cancer next 48 hours? What is this? What is the outcome for this? Two of Swords, Two of Cups, and Strength. The Seven of Pentacles. Excuse me, the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Swords, and we have the Nine of the Nine of Wands. Okay, I feel like with this energy, I feel like this is something that you planted the seeds for. You've like planted the seeds for the situation. Maybe you've conversed with this person in the past, and then maybe nothing came of it. Maybe you thought that this person wasn't any more interested, so you kind of let it go. Well, here this person comes back when you least expect it and this is the seeds that you planted maybe a while back so you're kind of in this eight of cups excuse me eight of swords energy like do you really take advantage of this offer or do you kind of hold back? Do you let them know that maybe you're not as interested as you were before? You know, they're not holding your attention that much. I feel like you're kind of playing hard to get, Cancer, if that makes more sense. I feel like you're playing hard to get. But I feel like this person is being very, very persistent. I don't feel like this person is backing down a little bit because I feel like this person, if this is love or if this is something else, I feel like they are seeing the value, seeing what could come of the situation. We have the death card. So I really feel like there's a transformation in this situation I feel like you kind of expect at the end but that's not quite sure what I feel because we have the knight of wands so I feel like as soon as you feel like this situation has ended they come rushing back they're not done with the situation yet they're not done with this they're like having this fire, having this passion, kind of going on this new journey, you know, taking this adventure with excitement and enthusiasm, you know, very interesting. Okay, let's get some more messages for Cancer. What is this Queen of Cups, Empress, Four of Wands energy? Give me a message. Okay, the Ace of Cups. 
the star. And the chariot. Okay, so I feel like, yeah, what this is igniting is hope for the future. It's moving forward. It's star energy. Okay, Cancer, I feel like with the Ace of Cups, the star, and the chariot, I feel like this is new love that you're running towards. This is a new exciting time that you're moving forward to. Um, with the, the star card, I feel like this is kind of wishing upon a star. Wishing that you have the best possible outcome. You know, and you have the chariot card. So I feel like this new venture, this new idea, new love that you're moving into is going to bring you a lot of satisfaction. It's moving you into this direction, into this new path. Now, this love may have you physically moving. You may decide to move in with each other. Or you may decide to move to the same city that they're located. Because I feel like there's some kind of distance. There's some kind of distance between you. So you may not live in the same city or the same location. Okay, Spirit. Give me a message for the Eight of Wands, the King of Wands, and the Three of Wands. A message, please. Okay, the Four of Cups, the Five of Swords, and the King of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel like with this with this four of cups energy, I feel like you're you're kind of at a crossroads with this four of cups, five of swords. You're kind of at a crossroads, Cancer. I feel like you you're kind of in this state where you're kind of bored. You're kind of unfulfilled, but you also don't want to miss an opportunity. You don't want an opportunity to slip through your fingers. So I feel like with this Four of Cups energy, I feel like you're moving from your comfortable space into more diverse areas of the unknown, if that makes sense. But I feel like you're kind of conflicted. You don't know if you want to. You're kind of going back and forth with the situation. You're conflicted. Should you go? Should you stay? Should you go? Should you stay? You know, you're kind of in between. Like, what if it doesn't work out? What if this happens? What if that happens? You're all in the what ifs. You know? And I feel like you're in, you you have this inner battle right now with yourself. You know, like taking in all the negative aspects and all the positive aspects and kind of going <laughs> against the grain. And it's crazy. Um, we also have the, the King of Pentacles. So I feel like, I feel like Cancer. You're going to make the most stable decision that's possible for you. You're going to come to the best conclusion that works out in your life. For your conclusion. You know, so trust in your process. Uh, at the bottom of this deck, we have the answer is yes. So, hey, if you have a question... Maybe the answer is yes, you know? Let's get some more cards for Cancer. What's going on with Cancer next 48 hours? What does Cancer need to know? Do the work. Just do it. Put it in progress. We also have trust the universe. Trust in the process. Cancer. Okay. We have a win-win outcome is in the forecast. And it's time to release negativity. Beautiful. 
Okay, let's get another message for Cancer. <clears throat> Expect miracles. Remember that only love is real. Miracles will occur naturally. Spirit has your back. That's confirmation. That's your confirmation, Cancer. That's your confirmation. Spirit has your back. And we also have soul flame. Rediscover a lost part of yourself. Experience relationship harmony and healing. Beautiful. Beautiful energy. Okay, Cancer. This is what I have for you for the next 48 hours. So, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more messages. It may give you more clarity on your situation. Cancer, until your next reading, I hope this helps. Many blessings. Love and light.